Hey guys, welcome to the video for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. My name is Vinicius SG, and in this FF7 Rebirth Guide video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily defeat Roche when you fight him for the second time at Nebelheim. It all comes down to knowing what moves Cloud has that can counter what Roche does, and having the right material can help also. I'm going to break down all of these things for you in this video, but before I do that though, I have to give a thank you and a shout out to my sponsor, Square Enix, for providing me with a free copy of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Alright, so let's start at the top, and that's Materia. Before the Roche fight, you have a chance to rest, save, and swap your Materia on Cloud because he's going to take this fight alone. And just as an FYI, this gameplay that you're going to be seeing is in dynamic mode, which is a little harder than normal mode. Here's the Materia that you should use. Alright, so here's the Materia that you should bring on Cloud. Uh, so just as a side, I'm using the Buster Sword. I could use the ingenious or igneous saver that has a lot more material slots but you know i wanted to do it very basic and use the buster sword so uh i've got the buster sword i'm using the valkyrian bangle and then i've got terror cards as my accessory extends the duration of detrimental status effects applied to foes and i'll tell you about that in just a second all right so when it comes to materia i've got strength up materia and i've got that at three stars so i can deal more damage to Roche, and then I've got healing material so I could use regen on myself and keep myself alive. Then I've got first strikes, and that's all the way maxed out so I can go first. And then we have the assess material. I don't really use it during the fight, but you're gonna need it if you want to have his intel. So that's just gonna be a slot that's just empty. Um, and then we've got ATB stagger. Increase ATB when staggered enemy. That's going to be a very important one. Then we've got time materia. This one is super important because when you assess Roche, you see that the only thing he's really weak to is stop. So when you get a chance to use stop, you can use it on him almost as much as you want. Then we've got HP up materia, steadfast block materia, super important. Further decreased enemy damage and fills the ATB gauge faster when guarding. I have that one maxed out. You should definitely use steadfast block materia for sure. And then we've got level boost materia with my precision defense focus materia. That's because without level boost, I only have it at a two star because I'll admit I haven't used it that much. But you're definitely going to need that third star when using um, it against Roche. Prevent binding attacks by blocking with perfect timing, and that is actually so, so very perfect. Okay, so now that Materia is out of the way, the next thing that you need to know is how to counter Roche. Now he has a few attacks, some with names and some without. When you assess Roche, it tells you that he is pressured by countering his special attacks, which basically means his named attacks, and you have a few opportunities to do that. So when the fight starts, trying to do a frontal attack on him will 100% fail. He blocks and dodges. Instead, wait for him to attack you. First, get some distance between you and him so that you have enough time to react to his attacks always. As an opener, he will either start with a nameless charge attack, a nameless ground attack where he sends zigzagging lines of energy across the ground, or Stygian chains. For the nameless charge attack, which seems to be his most used opener, hold block and wait for him to rush towards you. When he does, he stops right in front of you to set up for his attack. During this brief moment where he sets up for his attack, quickly switch to Punisher mode and block so you can counter the attack. As soon as you counter the attack, use your ATB charge to cast Stop on him. After you cast Stop on him, cast Haste and Regen on yourself. Cast Haste first so you can quickly get more ATB so maybe you can squeeze in a Braver right before the stop runs out, but only after you cast Regen first. If he opens with Stygian Chains, he sends a slow-moving purple orb at you. Wait for it to get close enough and then perfect block it. This is where having that third star of precision defense focus material comes in handy because you can prevent binding attacks with perfect blocks. Normally after he fails with Stygian Chains attack, he lunges in for a melee attack which again he will stop briefly right in front of you and give you enough time to switch to Punisher mode to block and counter him. If he starts with a nameless ground attack that sends energy zigzagging along the ground, you can avoid it by perfect blocking at the right moment, right before it hits clouds and you'll be immune to the attack. He has one attack that is the most problematic and that's his soul cleave. This is a two slash attack unless you get hit with the first attack in which case he ceases the uh, second attack altogether. To avoid soul cleave, all you have to do is when he announces it, wait a heartbeat, this is so important, wait a heartbeat then dodge towards the camera. That's you. Dodge toward the camera and then immediately dodge to the right or left depending on whether or not one direction puts you into a wall. You can also evade this attack by being out of its range but that rarely happens as he usually only launches this attack when one or both slashes are in range to hit you. 
So remember, when you see Soul Cleave pop up, and it's so important that you like recognize the name, Soul Cleave, when you see it pop up, wait a heartbeat, dodge backwards towards the camera, and then to the left or right directly after that. The first slash is the horizontal soul cleave, and the second part of the attack is called sinister slash, and this sends out a vertical arc towards you. Another attack he has is curse star. He launches his attack by jumping into the air and then calls down comets. The best way to avoid this attack is to dodge and use Cloud's ability to like shoot right up at him. So when you see curse star pop up, press circle to dodge, then press and hold square to join him in the air. Don't try to attack him with melee attacks, just air dodge backwards and hit him with Cloud's ranged attack. Next he has a skill called Combustion Sword, where he jumps up and slams his sword into the ground for an explosive AoE. You want to see this move pop up because this is a perfect opportunity to pressure him. When you see the name flash, just dodge away from him as quickly as you can. You can either move away from him or move to his side enough times to get around behind him. As soon as you're out of his attack's range, Turn and hit him with a ranged attack from Cloud's sword, followed by a lunge attack. This always pressures him and knocks him up. Now, as a rule of thumb, whenever you see him get knocked up and you have an ATB charge, you stop on him to get even more damage. The final named attack he has is Dragoon Dive. This is another attack that you want to see. In this attack, he jumps high into the air and attempts to slam his sword down on you. This is an easy attack to evade. Just as soon as you see the name pop up, start dodging out of the way backwards until you see him land back down again. Wait for him to pull his sword up from the ground and then slam it right back down. As soon as he slams it back down, rush him. Send an air slice at him and then charge in and melee him. If he starts to bounce as if juggled, another great time to use stop. Now Rush also has a few unnamed attacks, I already covered two of them, his main lunging attack and his ground zigzagging laser attack. He has one where he sends out a single ranged attack like clouds that's easily dodged to the left or right, and then another attack where he uses a quick lunge and sends out a series of ranged attack like clouds. If you hold block whenever he lunges at you, there should be no problem avoiding these attacks. And that's it for his attacks and how to counter them. When he is staggered, I suggest using Braver as much as possible. That gets his health down very fast. When you do enough damage to him, he goes into phase 2, which is far weaker, but he can still do damage. He's always pressured in this state, so a lot of focus thrust and counter attacks should quickly finish him off. The counters I talked about still apply in his second phase. All in all, this is a really fun 1v1 fight, and it overall helped me to get better with using Cloud. Now, if this video was helpful to you in any way, you can show me your thanks by subbing to the channel and liking the video. If you have any questions, please drop them down below in the comments. My name is Vinicius Sheehan. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.